Thanks for joining us. Uh, Minnesota father and mother are in Ohio tonight after a house fire took the lives of their two children. 10-year-old Catherine and 12-year-old Aaron Foster were staying with their aunt near Columbus. Neighbors tried to break down the door during an overnight fire to get the children out, but it was too late. Kate Raddatz spoke to their father about the lasting impact the young children will have on their lives. We called them Hansel and Gretel. We called them our little ducklings. This is the last image Brian Foster has of his children, a video his son Aaron sent him on Sunday as he swam with his younger sister Catherine. Brian spoke about his kids while driving to Ohio. I literally have never seen them happier in my life. So happy, Catherine, a fourth grader, and Aaron in sixth grade begged to stay an extra night with their aunt. But the next morning, the home they were sleeping in burst into flames. Neighbors tried to break down the front door where the children were trapped. Tony, get the bat. Get the bat. Stand back. Aaron's body was found a foot from the door. Catherine was found in a hallway. There's no words to describe the pain and anguish uh, that the situation uh, brings to my heart and soul. The St. Paul father says the family had planned to go camping together in July, but now will be planning their funerals. Um, I just would like everyone to know that those kids were adored, loved, and cherished by everyone they knew. And everyone they came across. Friends of the children's mother say the community will give the family unconditional support. Absolutely, her whole world revolved around those children. I, I don't know. I, it's still surreal for me as well. I don't feel like they're they're gone yet. The children's aunt and cousin did get out of the house okay. Authorities believe the fire may have started from a space heater in the basement. There's a GoFundMe account to help the family. We have information up to donate up at WCCO.com slash links. All right. Kate, thank you.